customizing your toolbar. There are a couple things that you can do to make um, creating really fast for you. And so one of those things that I have is some things up here in my toolbar that aren't easily accessible and it just really saves me a lot of time. And that is this copy style and paste style options up here in my toolbar. You probably do not have those in your toolbar. So I'm gonna show you how to add them because they do save a lot of time. So you wanna put your mouse where you have no icons, just like a gray space up here in your document. And you wanna do a two finger click and then you can, or right click if you're using a mouse and you can customize your toolbar. So anything that you don't already have in your toolbar is kind of just showing up in this pane. And if there's something you want to add, you just grab it and drag it up and let it go. Um, so if you find the copy style, paste style in here, you're going to want to drag those up because let me show you what it does. So I'm going to say done. And if you don't want, if there's something in your toolbar that you really don't use or you don't really want, you can just drag it out. I found that I didn't really need to take anything out, but adding was really helpful. So any of these little tools that you feel like you use all the time or you have trouble finding in your format bar, um, it would be good to move like forward and backward. That would probably be a good thing if you're not used to or familiar with where that is. Front, forward, backward, back. Those are really good if you're doing designs too because it helps you layer all of your images easy. So anyway, pick your favorites, drag them up to your toolbar, and then just say done. Let me show you what the copy style, paste style is though. So I'm in this template and I like this cool design, but I really want a totally different kind of shape in here. So if that's the case, then I'm gonna add a different shape here. Let's just say I wanted a circle but I want the circle to have this cool pattern thing. So um, what I'm gonna do is click the cool pattern that I like, and then I'm gonna go up here where it says copy style. And then I can click my new shape and go up here and paste style. And now my circle looks exactly like that thing. And now I can use this, maybe I wanna delete the rectangle, use the circle or whatever. Um, same thing if I wanted maybe the circle, maybe I don't want this to be a square. Maybe I want this shape back here that's locked. Let me unlock that, boom. I'm gonna copy that style, click on my circle, paste the style. Okay, so now I can delete that. Now that text is still there. I'm gonna make the circle big. And then I need to move it to the back. So I'm gonna click on a range and this is where I can send that shape to the back. And now I can size it up just nice. So that copy style, paste style is really nice. And it works for shapes and it works for text also. So if I added a text box in here and I type some things, but I really want this to look like this, then I can click on the, what I like, copy the style, click my text, paste. It just, it can save you a lot of time to just have that in your, in your toolbar.